Good morning, everybody. I'm back from my break. It is still day 208, September 1st, 2023. It is 1033 a.m. And this is video two. Okay. Couldn't remember if I mentioned that. That's so sad that I forgot something within a couple of seconds. My mind is kind of racing. I need to slow it down and get focused on this video. Um, so far as it stands right now, I am feeling good enough to do a third video. I know I didn't say that this would be a triple day, but I don't think that I'm going to. Um, I'll tell you guys why in a second, but let me get everything inclined. Um, I obviously, if this is video two, I already did video one. And video one, I kind of touched on some things I want to talk about that I did not write to make sure that I didn't forget them. So I just have to make sure that, like my thumbnail, you know, my little edit for the beginning of the video that I remember that the majority of, I would say 98% of what I wrote is not what I discussed in video one. Yeah. Which is a good thing because it left with video two. So video two is kind of like updates to updates, I guess in a sense. Um, we're inclined that, what are we at? 12. Okay, so let's hope treadmill behaves long enough for this video. All right, up oh, might as well, you know what? No, let me lay the side down. We gotta get up to speed two and we watch some of the theater app. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. And as you guys know, I'm only going up to speed two because I've walked multiple times by the time this video finishes. Almost there. All right, we're at speed two, a minute and 28 seconds. And let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get through video two for today. Like I said, the treadmill, I don't think it's used to me doing double days almost every day. But we'll see how long will this last. Okay, and then I'll just have to come up with another solution, but for now things seem to be okay. And I'm not feeling any type of skipping, so hopefully that won't start. Um, all right, so video one ended up being about me explaining why video two is so special. Okay, so I will tell you this, and then we'll go into what I did not discuss in video one. So for today, if I, well first, originally what I was gonna do was I was going to mark today for day 242, which is October 4th. I just don't feel like walking the day before um, out of a fun time that we're gonna have for the event that we're going to um, go to. So I was like, okay, maybe I will mark one of the other days. Um, I have four days including today that I can use for that day, right? I already crossed off one of my bank days. And you guys know that I've pretty much taken care of October. So I was like, well, I can throw October 4th in or I can leave it out. So I'm still deciding. If I decide to walk on October 4th, then today would be me starting to take care of November. And then I told you guys about how November I may not need two weeks. Okay, and then of course, every week I need, depending on if it's separate or if it's together, that determines on if I need three extra days or uh, no less than two, or if I need six extra days, no less than five. Hair appointment days, don't want my hair off sweaty, right? It's gonna get washed, and then for what? If I'm gonna walk the next day and have it get like that, because if I just got it dyed, it gets washed so many times between being bleached and dyed, I don't want to have to wash it again. I want the color to stay in as long as possible. And you guys know that I use either the After Color Silver by Ion, or I still have a lot of jars of the Preserving Mask, which they discontinued and they made something else that's supposed to have a similar formula that you can leave in for less time. I do have a tube of it, but I haven't really used it, so I don't know how well it works. Um, I really wish they had just left the preserving mask how it was because it works. But anyway, um, yes, so that's just to give you a little bit of an idea for video one. And then also I went into about the fact that I started eating berries, what berries I started eating and why. And so if you want to know, 
what they were, and what am I trying to improve for my body then watch video one, okay? So, for video two, I got to thinking earlier, and I'm still kind of thinking so right now, that after I get cleaned up, after I eat my fruits, um, I have enough energy and probably the time to record a video for um, the notes, right? So there would be several things I would be testing. I've talked about the dust collector. I um, talked to you guys about the drill. Yes, this is going to be drill number two. Nothing happened to drill number one. I just found out that it's not strong enough to do everything I needed to do. And then the polishes. How easy is it to paint with them? What brand are they? Because they're not not polished. And um, if they glow, right? And I've been talking about the fact that I need to test all the stuff. Part of it is, I don't know what my return time would be for the Young Girls Dust Fletcher, which I don't think I'm gonna have to return. Um, I'll tell you why in a second. But so far as the polishes, right? Those are the only things that came from Amazon recently that I still haven't tested. And I keep talking about it, and I was like, well, I can knock this all out in one test, in one video. I said, yeah, I can just see. Okay, so um, I'll get into that, or no, I'm on it. I'll go ahead and talk about it. When I get to that part, I'll kind of read over it and see what I still need to add in. Okay, so let's stay on that for a second because I don't want to go back and forth. Uh, but I'm going to get some water. The first video, I didn't drink any. So I'm going to make sure I drink some now. Oh, that's delicious. It's still cold. Oh my gosh. That was good. All right, so whoop, lost my balance. Staying on that um, subject for a couple seconds. Okay, so I have this all in my mind that I might do it today instead of Monday or Tuesday. And I thought it might have to be Tuesday. I also have to take into consideration um, the time that I'm recording. Is my husband gonna be home? And how am I gonna do with noise? If it's super hot, you know, I try and run the AC as much as I can before because I have to turn it off when I'm recording in the house, right? And so I started thinking about that. If it's not gonna be today, uh, Sunday will be difficult as well, this weekend. Okay, so um, I thought to myself, I said, Wait a second, right now, what's out for delivery is the new drill, which, I don't know, I said this already, but I'll mention it again. I went against my better judgment, and instead of getting the Lux drill, I know you're probably thinking, oh, you shouldn't have done that, you should just went and got it, um, especially if they had a sell on it, because the price, you know, of $169.99 before the $30 off, it's actually about a roundabout price, no matter what site you would get it from, right? So you're probably thinking, oh, you're gonna kick yourself because they're not always gonna offer that coupon. Well, it's not even a coupon. Well, in a way, yeah, it is, but it's a $30 instead of, let's say, a percentage. So I went with this other one. Yeah, it had two reviews, oddly enough, on the same day, and each review had a video of no longer than 40 seconds. Okay, so that you could hear how quiet the drill was. You could see the start and stop feature on it for, I call it the cradle, but it's not called the cradle, whatever that thing is called. The little power bank thing, whatever that you set it down on. And so I thought, so far as I know, unless it's called something else, and I did look under your photos to see on YouTube if it came up and it still didn't come up. And what made me think was, the model number. Now, I think the yoke fellow one that looks identical to it, I think the model number is YK-901, right? This one doesn't say the letters, but it has the dash and it has the number. 
And so I got to thinking. Now I get to find out, I get to tell you guys. I'm going to examine everything, the drill, the power base, whatever you call that thing, the box. Is there a specific branding or is it unbranded? And did they actually literally just copy the Yofo drill? Um, if they did, how close did they get? Is theirs better? Or, I don't know. I don't know if it's worse because there was no reviews on AliExpress for it. Okay, all I found was the picture of the drill and the name and no reviews. So I'm relying on those two uh, Amazon, I was gonna say YouTube, on those two Amazon reviews, you guys. Yes. And like I said, Amazon is back in their game and they're talking themselves now because they went back to two days of delivery and one day. So it says it's out for delivery and I literally just ordered it yesterday. Um, also, I don't know how to say this. I didn't even write it down to try and pronounce it. I know I mess it up every time. Um, like I said, somebody said, um, I don't think it's McCart. I still don't know what that is. McCart, Macrit Maker, I have no idea how to say it, but it appears to be a popular brand with rhinestone glue, and um, people don't seem to be too happy with some of the other stuff, like their drills, I think they have drills as well, but I can stand by the rhinestone glue. I like it in a little jar. I don't know about the one that you squeeze out from that tube. Uh, or the, I think it's like a pin, right? Um, a, a tube pin. It doesn't look like a writing pin. So now my next thing from them, and this is not a paid promotion, okay? I will mention that. If I do report say whatever day I report, whatever I test together, then it's not a paid promotion. That I did pay for it. But the next thing is the drill bits. Because remember I told you guys, I found out, then the drill bits are interchangeable, okay? If you're told that they're not, then there's a possibility that whoever is telling you this, okay, may just be saying it because they want you to buy only their stuff. Now, the company that said, oh, yeah, the shaft is, remember, I don't know how to say the fraction, 332, so I'll just say it like that. Um, so yeah, it will fit, but they advised me, only use the drills that uh, bits that they have now keep in mind they don't sell any separate just what came with the drill and to speed up the drill now I'm not saying that you shouldn't speed it up there's a possibility if it's not taking off what you want it's take off it's not spinning fast enough but the thing about it is is when you look at that if you say, no, I think my speed is fine. If you look at your drill bit and you say, oh, actually, I have a coarse drill bit, like the Typhoon course that I returned, right? Or I have a medium, but it's kind of made like that, right? Um, kind of looks like, a, well, some are not rounded. The safety tips are rounded, right? Some of them are like a cylinder, and it looks like a pineapple, kind of. That's the only way I can think of describing it. So if you have a drill bit that looks like that, that's made out of what, carbide, right? Then your gel polish top coat should be coming off. And if it's still taking a long time, then it might be that the drill itself is not powerful enough, right? So there's all these little factors that play a part in the removal, okay? It may not be you at all. Um, let's just say you're just starting off and you're trying to learn how to take it off. And I told you guys, side note, I saw a video where a lady said to go in one direction and she talked about going uh, forward and reverse. If you're on a certain side of the nail, then you will go forward. I think from right to left is forward from left to right is reversed. 
And then she talked about even when you're starting from like, I say right by the cuticle, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, mark the, by that part of your finger and going down uh, toward the tip, then that changes what direction you would go in as well. So she said it's not necessarily the hand that you're working on, right? And I like the way she explained it, so I saved her video. Okay, so that's why I have coming because um, my friend, who is also one of my hairstylists, was nice enough to look at some of the stuff I was looking at because I was thinking that the drill bits are interchangeable. I was leaning more towards that than what the seller said. Okay, so like I said, the seller just told me it might make your drill malfunction. And so I asked them, do you sell this drill bit or a drill bit close to it? And they're like, please pay attention to us. You know, we'll start, I guess, selling the drill bit when it's necessary. And I'm thinking, it's necessary right now, right? And so they said, but in the meantime, that's what they're suggesting to do. So we wrote back and forth a little bit on the Amazon Message Center. So now I'm curious. I thought, okay, the video. I believe I mentioned it in video one. What do I want to record? And if not, then I just told you guys right now a couple minutes ago, right? But I thought, you do realize you have to have a drill to do that. Okay, so um, if you don't know, I had repaired this nail almost a month ago. And so, of course, that meant I cut it all the way down. I know some people like to keep their nails, but I don't. When I get a full set, I like to start from scratch and have them cut down to the lowest part, um, close to the tip of my finger. And so, I know that my little bear has been getting caught on several things which I think is pulling at it. But still, I can see, I can see the bear popping off. I can see if I crack part of the fake nail or if that caused part of my nail to crack or come off, right? But, me doing that nail over again as if I had done a full set in a month, the fake nail, the powder combined, I know it bonds together, but it should not have been able to pop off. Now, the first time it lifted from by the cuticle. This time, I happened to notice it was lifting from the side. Now, I thought, okay, so I'm still getting too much product I might have some flooding going on or something like that as well with monomer and with the powder. And if I've gotten okay with the powder, then when I paint, I'm still not on the nail itself completely. That's the only thing I can think of because once it starts to grow out, I've noticed that's when I have a problem, if I have a problem. Now I fix a nail over here from scratch, I haven't had a problem. Then again, it would not be time for me to do a fill until, like I said, next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day I would pick, right? So I'm thinking still that might be the problem. It couldn't possibly be because I don't have any powder there. I can really pay attention to where I put it, right? And trying to get better at that, especially with the clear powder. That's the only thing I've actually put on my nails that I've kept on. So I said, okay, well, maybe it'll be okay. No, I hit my nail on something, can't remember, and then it just popped off. So it's almost as if I know I glued it back on. First time I glued it on, it fell off again. And then the second time it stayed. And so I was like, well, what am I going to do? When am I going to repair it? Eventually, mm -hmm, I know it's going to come back off. And I'm happy that I can start from scratch. And I actually don't even have to cut it down. Right? And I, like I said, I have 
another issue going on with it as well, so I need to treat it, right? So I'm thinking I should take it off, drug off whatever I thought was on there, the remainder of like glue, whatever, and then I should be treating it. So um, I'm gonna see, because since I will have to do a fill, I will have no choice but to go ahead and make this pop off again and take a look at it. I might be walking around with one finger with nothing on it for like some weeks, I'm thinking. But yes, my thought process was I wanted to do my video of testing the, uh, like I said, dust collector, the new drill. I said, I can wipe this all out, right? But the drill hasn't come. It's still off the delivery. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna record today. Um, I have to check my messages after I come out of airplane mode. If I have any messages and I'm given a specific time for something, then that might determine on if I have the time. So we'll see. But hopefully, by Wednesday, I will be able to test. I also need to check the return dates on Amazon for the two polishes. Um, I'm thinking for my next fill and polish, if everything goes well with this other polish, because the, uh, let's see here, the glow in the dark, I'm gonna call it like regular polish because even though I think it's gel, I believe it is, it's just like solid colors, you know? The other one's solid colors, but it's the sugar polish, but it says it glows. So I thought I can do one test all in one, and if I can get it to paint correctly, look nice and even, then when nighttime comes, I can see what glows. Maybe what I can do is one hand with one, one hand with the other. Of course, on my nail video, I will show you guys both hands at the end, because you know that I pause and I don't do everything on camera. So I know my videos are long, but trust me, I spend a lot more time on my nails than you guys think. And I know I've said that, but I'm talking about hours more than what you guys think. That is one of the reasons why I'm investing again in another drill, just to see. Okay, so let me do a time check and I'll tell you a little bit about it because I don't remember the brand name. So yeah, I do remember the RPMs. 22 minutes, 30 seconds. All right, so the RPMs says it's 40,000. Hopefully it's telling the truth. From what I was reading, that is supposed to be, that's probably not the most powerful RPMs a nail drill can have, but it's up there, right? The, um, I'm trying to think, the current one I have, mine, right now is 20,000. Um, and like I said, it has a start and stop feature. And so, we'll just be testing like all that stuff in that video, right? So yeah, it's gonna be a fun video. Just the win is, uh, what am I gonna do um, about that? The color is black and the cradle, power bank, whatever it's called, might do both. That's black and it has like this gold trim. I don't know if it's like a medical, I said medical, I'm trying to say um, metal. I don't know where med uh, medical came from. Maybe because I was just talking about health, right? On the first video, but I don't know if that's metal, but it is pretty. And it outlines the part where the drill sits. Okay, so I'm gonna see what happens. Now, was it super expensive? No, unless it won't last at least six months. Um, then I might say, I could've just stuck with mine, tried different drill bits, speed it up, don't stay in one spot too long, because that's when it gets hot, right? I could've just done that. So I'm hoping that if I like this drill, that it lasts past six months. It should. Now, the other thing 
is what I did was, um, well, no, I'll tell you guys about that in a second, actually. Um, because there's something else about the drill. I'm trying to think. There was something specific. It wasn't the brand name because it's unbranded, right? For now, until I can examine and see. But, oh, just in case I forgot to mention. Okay, so those drill bits in that pack that I'm waiting for, right? The person made a video. I've watched a lot of videos. But this one person, she said that she takes her drill bits and tries them in the drill that she buys to see if she likes it, if it's going to work, you know, if she's gonna need she's in the back or whatever. So that just in case she has to do that, she can. And that makes perfect sense not to use the drill bits that come with the drill. Now, this drill comes with one, I think, carbide drill. It does come in a bundle. Okay, so when I do make the video, you have two options. If you want to check it out, you can either go to the description box, click on the link for Amazon, right? Copy the title once you get there. That's on the product page for the drill. Or you can type in a drill name, type in bundle, and it should pull up. Now, I found this out because, like I said, I went on the hunt to see if I could find more reviews on this drill based off of the name of the seller. And I couldn't. Only those two on Amazon, right? So, yeah, that's my thought process is to look at the drills. Hopefully it'll tell me what drill is supposed to be for what. And then I can try that because I'll be keeping the drill bits no matter what. Because they should fit my current drill as well. Okay, so the only thing in question is the new drill itself. So I thought that was an excellent idea. And I don't know if I would have thought of that if it weren't for the fact that I knew that the drill bit was part of the problem. Removing this top coat and this gel polish, I've been talking to you guys about this for a while, it takes entirely too long. And then I found out different reasons as to why. <clears throat> so, excuse me. Yeah, so, that's my thought. And you know me, I'm going to figure it out. So let's do a time check really quick. Let's see, 27 minutes, 39 seconds. All right, but yeah, that's the plan. But that will be the hold up for today is the fact that even by the time I finish walking, the drill still might be here. By the time I get finished getting cleaned up, eating my fruit, it still may not be here. Um, our mail doesn't always run at the same time and the other carriers don't always run at the same time. So I never know when I'm gonna get the package. I just will be impressed if I get the drill and the separate drill set. Today, it's supposed to come as one package because like I said, I don't think I've ever seen uh, one day shipping with Amazon. If I have, I don't know if I've ever experienced receiving something in one day. If I have, there's only been one at a time. So it may be that they always did it, but they just decided to bring it back and they figured out a way to do it. More delivery drivers, I don't know. But let's see. Okay, because I will be shocked. Because looking at, once it said it was shipped, you know, first it just says either picked up by carrier or dropped off a carrier or carrier waiting package, right? And then after a while, it starts to show tracking information. And so I don't remember the exact time of maybe the first scan on the beginning of its travel to here, but I would say it was kind of late in the day. So I know there's one day shipping. I know Amazon may have been doing this already, but I will be impressed to see because this will probably, like I said, only be the second time that 
I've ordered something from them and that's happened. So let's find out. And then we can go from there because I realized how many different things I could do a review of. And I always talk about the title, but whatever I don't put in the title, it's not get simple to three. Sorry about that. Um, it's not gonna stop either. Uh, I don't know why that's happening, but it is. Um, but yes, that is possible because I need to use the no dust collector. I have to use the drill. And if I don't want to leave it blank after I fill it, I have to paint it, right? So I thought this is perfect. I'm telling you guys, I have it all lined up in my mind. And what I'm doing with the nail or nail videos I'm making, I'm trying to record the first of everything. Not just a progression of, am I getting better? Am I getting worse? for some things. Was I closer to doing something right prior, you know what I mean? And so, it's also to track just the first experience, the first time of doing this versus that, painting with gel polish, using a nail dust collector. Um, I had to buy two drills within a, a month of each other, right? Um, like I said, I really, really wish that I had done more research on the tools themselves first. And then I could have worried about the product later. Now, of course, in between time, I could focus a little bit on the gems, the charms, you know, stuff like that. But um, the powder and the polish could have possibly have come a little bit later. Maybe I could have started off with less. So I'm learning. It's just good that I'm learning this stuff early on. Because like I said, you guys, the dust collector. Perfect example, I've given this example uh, several times throughout this week. Do you get a separate dust collector? Or do you get a nail salon table that has one already with it? Usually if you do that, they come with bags. The bags connect to the bottom, like I said, and the dust collects in there. Okay, whatever makes it through, I'm guessing, even if it's built into the nail salon table, there's still a filter, right? I will hope. And if not, maybe the thought process is, well, it's gonna suck down into the back. So, I don't know because that's one thing I didn't really pay attention to. It was just the fact that I thought that was cool that the dust collector was there, period. Um, you know, when you go to a nail shop, you don't usually see that, right? At least I have it. Not between living here and in Cali, so I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, whoever came up with the idea, that's genius. Because that stuff flies everywhere. And then the other thing was, okay, if I do get a no slime desk or table, whichever one it is, then do I get one with it or without it? Do I want the dust collector portable? Mm -hmm. Do I want to not have to be stuck having to do it at the desk? And I would have to say, I mean, if you're a nail tech, no matter where you're doing the nails at, most likely the answer is yes, you want it filled in. But that's not to say you wouldn't have a portable one, especially if you're at a shop and then for some reason you have to sit at a different table, right? I mean, I know they're numbered and usually everybody has their own station, but you never know. So it's not to say that you won't have a portable one just because you have one built into your nail salon uh, desk, right? And then plus, I have to think so far as the fact that I record reviews for different products. Um, on YouTube, I won't say for, but on YouTube right now, upload it. Um, I need a surface area that will be my main recording spot. If I'm not recording anything that's outside, right? We talk about maybe fixing up that room. Well, seeing as how they sell portable nail dust collectors, 
um, my main focus was where am I going to do my reviews? Where am I going to do my nails? I don't see myself always doing my nails in the kitchen in the island, even though it's convenient because of those outlets on the side. Then what gets put in the setup if we do, even if it's just a corner of that room as a setup for basically it would be like my YouTube studio, right? So that's what I was thinking. Surface space. I had to take that into consideration. Now I have said that knowing eventually that I'll probably end up in that room. Um, one reason is because I'm tired of hitting my knees on the dishwasher. So on the side where I sit, there is one and that hurts. Um, I'm tired of having to try to scoop the chair close and because that's there, it tends to almost make me roll backwards, right? Now I do a lot of camera checks to see about the focus when I show you guys something close that changes the focus. It may not be focused, you may not be able to see it. So I get up a lot of my videos to test that. No point in showing you it if you can't see it clearly, right? So I do that and I thought that it might be easier. Who knows? So eventually, I'm not saying I would never record back in the kitchen again. I might need the lighting. But where would my main recording take place? And like I said, price-wise when it comes just to the nail part, on one hand, I do wish I had got a nail desk with the vent in it because it would have saved. Mm -hmm. It would have saved a lot of money. Um, I would have to say over a hundred bucks. Um, probably more, closer to two maybe. The Young Nails Desk Collectors is, is it. I, it's so expensive I couldn't even get that out and I don't stutter you guys, but oh my gosh. I know I get tongue tied sometimes, but I don't stutter. And it was so expensive, I couldn't get that out. Um, it's well made. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I'm talking about, I'll tell you guys, I'll probably mention this in the video itself, but I did take a paper towel and test it. I saw that someone on YouTube did that to test to see if it was really sucking the air in. Um, it feels like it's kind of blowing out the air a little bit. And it feels like it's kind of coming from the top. It could be it's coming from all those vent holes from the side. And I can't remember if there's any at the bottom. I think there's some. But seeing as how it kind of felt like it was going up from the top as well, then I remembered that someone used a paper towel to test it. And so I took it over to the island and I put a paper towel on it. But Seeing it collected with dust is another thing, right? And then also, how am I going to record that? People have gotten really creative. And I want to be able to show you guys that it is pulling it in. So I'm thinking camera angle, because most likely I'll still be in the kitchen recording. That room is nowhere near ready at all. And then I thought, change the angle back to where you guys can see me, right? So kind of tilted like I do all my other nail videos. And then I can show you guys by opening it up and showing you the filter, right? Some people I've seen, they take the filter out and they lay it down on a paper towel that's on top of their towel that they have on their desk or whatever they're using. And um, some people use that paper. And I say it looks like what a hospital gown is made out of. I've seen those and they show you. So seeing what other people have been doing on their YouTube videos has given me some ideas. And um, I thought I can do that as well. And then, like I said, you guys know, I'll check the focus, right? I don't want to look all blurry. Um, and then another idea, another person, what they did was, which I think I'm going to incorporate this in as well, is they did how much dust flies without it on and with it on, not just with it on. So considering the fact that um, by Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, they will be going out enough for a fill. And like I said, this pops back off 
If I don't have time and I can record, if that drill comes by the time I can set everything up, that might happen today because I'll be too frustrated. I'll be too frustrated to glue this back on. There'll be no point. Um, we'll see a lot of the polish, a lot of the top coat, all that stuff, right, turns back into dust and just floats up in the air. And so I thought this is going to be great. Okay, it may not be the best video ever, but it will give you guys an idea kind of of what to expect. And so I see this video going well. Like I said, the win and then realizing I need everything I'm talking about to do it. So I'm excited. I'm really, really excited to see. And like I said, for that price, oh my gosh. Okay, so for Young Nails, I believe that was a site where it asked if that was my first order. And I think it gave me 10% off. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put myself out there. It's not like I chose this price. I would have, I don't know. Maybe I would have charged less, but maybe it would all be depending on how much it would cost for me to make it if it was my product, right? I have to take that into consideration as well, and they have to make a profit. With that said, with the 10% off, it was $175.99. Yes, I'm not said that kind of fast. I'm sorry, yes, $175.99, so I'm like, ouch. But considering if it works the way that I've seen it work in countless videos on YouTube, the alternative is breathing that stuff in. And I'm kind of up here walking for weight loss, for, um, like I said, this lowered my cholesterol so far as my bad number. My high number has been high. I think it's getting a little bit higher, but my bad number was high. And so if my good number wasn't high, then I would have, I won't say I would have high cholesterol because I was told on and off throughout my life, I was at the low end of the high numbers, but I probably would be told I have high cholesterol, period, right? And so the good cholesterol was the only thing that's been saving me this entire time. And I finally have a doctor that has explained enough and we looked at my blood test results and saw the drastic change in my bad number. So I'm thinking this has to have something to do with it. Usually weight loss contributes a lot to helping with becoming healthier in some way, shape, or form, right? Um, weight loss, exercise, drink water is something that's always said over and over again. It could be from doctors, friends, family, you telling yourself. And so I didn't know what I expected to have happen. I didn't know what was gonna get better. I just know for a fact that we went over my blood test results and it did help that. And my sugar, Lord, yes, 5.1. I'll take the point one, like I said. Take your wins when you can get them. And so I take that. Because I would have to say this year and maybe possibly last year not even knowing it that was the closest I've ever come to being told okay you go a few point somethings up and you'll be diabetic and so I've never been told that I know there's one where okay you have diabetic you have the types right and then you have is that pre Diabetic, I can't remember what's called if you're not, but you're like right there kind of somewhat. Um, I remember there's a term, but I can't remember what it is. But I've never been told I was ever even at risk for diabetes. So I had to do something, and I wasn't sure if this would help. Um, let's do a time check, because I have a feeling I'm at 40 minutes for some reason. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna do a credit. I'm gonna mark this when I stop the treadmill. Um, I promise we were literally just at like 27 minutes, like not too long ago. Remember? Okay. So, or in the twenties, the high twenties. So, um, I'm going to write down how much more I went over because I didn't mean to go over. And as you know, don't forget, I won't be walking tomorrow. I already walked for tomorrow.
Okay, so we will meet back up on Sunday. Um, I'm going to look over this and see what part I already talked about so I can like put a mark or something next to it so that I leave it out of uh, Sunday's video whether I do one or two videos. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Wait, oh, forgot to read the numbers. Okay, so 45 minutes, 1.48 for distance, 158 calories. Okay, so we have a credit of five minutes for the next video, right? But yes, um, that is pretty much what is going on. So we shall see when it comes and when I do it. I just thought this is going to be perfect. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys really quick while this is finishing, uh, stopping. Um, yesterday, I believe, yes, yes it was yesterday. I did a video, you guys know of those winning speakers. Just about everything you can think of, along with this popping off, like I said, it popped completely off. It was like I never had anything on it. Um, it was one thing after the other. I was using my laptop, I don't use it very often, so of course after I logged in, it was like, okay, I thought everything was fine going to the internet, right? Well, I went to the internet, and um, then I went to YouTube, and I was not logged in anymore. Yeah, for my channel, because remember I used the no attribution music from the YouTube studio, right? Okay, so it wanted my password for Google. I couldn't remember my channel Google account is not my everyday Google account. I don't even really too much care for my Google account. I prefer Yahoo, so I had to look at that. I had to find the password. A lot of stuff happened, you guys. And like I said, um, once I got everything set up with the laptop, okay, I was like, all right, um, let me unpair this speaker, right? Let me start from scratch. I want them to hear what happens when they plug it up, what happens, happens when it connects, I wasn't still recording when I disconnected them for you guys to hear that it actually makes a noise. I don't think it talks, but it makes a noise when it disconnects as well. The speakers are so cool. Okay, watch the video. You guys will love them. Um, and they're back with their, their self. They're less than what I paid. And then they also have a coupon. So I think they're going to be probably less than what I paid overall, right? The price versus what I got for the coupon, what they were offering everybody and then now what they're now offering. I think they lowered the original price and they still offer the same coupon. So yeah, um, you guys should be able to get it for less than what I paid for it. Okay, but um, after that, then this popped off. Yeah, I hit it on something and that was it. And I was like, you told yourself it was lifting from the side and since it wasn't a lot, um, I didn't think anything of it, but I thought when it popped off, you were thinking it felt like it was going to pop off. But I was not expecting, or like to lift more, I should say. I was expecting for it to lift more. I was not expecting for it to pop completely off. And so it did. So like I said, everything you could think of went wrong. And so by the time I made the video, that was like video number four or five. So yeah, that's what happened yesterday morning. And so I am hoping <laughs> that my next mail video does not go like that, okay? Um, I have yet to do a full set completely on my nails and now knowing that that can happen I don't even know what's gonna happen to a pointy finger over here. Mm -mm, I don't know. I have not a clue. Okay, but if I don't do my fill until early next week I don't know if it's, it might be a full set. We'll see. We'll see. Is it gonna be filled? It's gonna be a full set But I definitely will have everything all set up and I will hope that the video goes okay I don't care if it's long. I'm gonna have it plugged up to the charger. I'm telling you everything I can think of to make it go as smooth as possible, you guys, I'm going to do it because it takes a lot of concentration and focus to do this. This is a definite skill set that if you can get this skill set down, you have a good one. Between that and doing hair, dyeing, all that stuff, um, it's just all in a class of its own, you guys. And um, I have, like, I have respect for them, but I have a lot, lot more because of just the patience alone that it takes, right? And, and the focus, the focus it takes is unbelievable. Okay, so yes, I will say that to all the nail techs, whether you're a beginner, whether you've been doing this for years, 
I am so happy if you're a beginner, if you're getting better, and I'm happy that if you finally hit that mark where it would be almost like, you know, when you're running and uh, it could be whether you're a sprinter or a long distance runner where you hit what they call that second wind and then it feels like you could run forever, right? So I hope that your experience with doing nails has gotten like that and you've, so to speak, in a sense, hit that second wind and now you're just going with it and it's going smooth because I can tell you in the beginning, it is super frustrating. If it's not one thing, it's another, just on learning the skill itself. And um, eyesight, I'll say this lastly, plays a big part. Yes, it plays a big part. I am seeing, when I said that I was entertaining the idea of me and my friends, that lives back in Cali, we were entertaining the idea of opening up a nail shop, stuff like that. We didn't even think, I don't even think we thought about the fact that we had to get licensed first. Um, back then, I don't even think I thought as much about my eyesight and how hard it would be for me to do it because of what I can see and what I can't see and how much light I would need. And if I would need, I didn't even think about a magnifying a light right? That it's a combination of both until I started doing this. And so I had to think of every single thing, every single problem I thought I could run into just to start. And like I said, the tools is a whole nother thing. The drill itself and the drill bits is a whole nother, I won't say issue, but a whole nother thing to learn. So once you combine it all together, I mean, just, it's great. Um, I know it takes a lot, but yes, that's where my mind thought is at because I'm gonna tell you guys when this happened I'm not gonna lie to you guys I thought I told my husband just yesterday the day before I said you know what I wonder if I'm gonna end up back at the shop for my nails I still haven't went back for the pedicures and stuff like that um, I'm still painting my own toes and stuff like that I don't do like the whole full pedicure thing uh, of course I'm not gonna try the hot rocks and oil that's a whole new skill set as well paraffin wax I have to be very careful not to burn myself, right? So I haven't even gotten into that. It's just a matter of being able to paint evenly enough, right? And cut evenly enough and foul them evenly enough because I like them squared. And so I um, I did tell him and I thought about it and I was like, what about all the charms? Like take the charms with you, right? Most of the time I've been like too big, it's it's flat, it's not rounded. And you're thinking just, just glue it on there. But I'm seeing when it gets caught, what happens, but that should, it should not happen. I think it has to be part of the problem. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna have to say it's glued back on the way I think it's supposed to look when you actually put the stuff on there. So I am trying, boy, when I tell you guys I'm trying, I am trying. Um, I'm just trying to breathe. Yeah. Because uh, like I said, at first it was therapeutic. It didn't matter how long it was taking. And then it got to the point to where if it wasn't right, I would just instantly get angry, like I said, and want to chunk everything across the room. And I'm like, no, that'd be a big mess. There'd be glass everywhere. If it's made of glass, I'm telling you guys, like I've gotten to that point where I haven't done it. I've thought it and I'm pretty calm. I'm not confrontational. I don't like to argue and stuff like that. And so I thought, okay, I'm calm enough to just have these thoughts and then to just try and fix it and figure out where did I go wrong and go from there. But I have been leaning towards stopping. Yes. <laughs> and so I'm trying because like I said, way too much. If you guys saw the video where I was talking about how much has been spent so far, price wise for what I cannot return, I'm too far in. So we'll see, do I keep up with this? But you guys, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check my messages and um, I'm going to enjoy not having to walk tomorrow. Like I said, it's already taken care of. Um, waking up early when you don't sleep, that's another story, but I just kind of roll with it day by day. Um, just roll the punches, right? You guys have a great day. Stay safe. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.